Hello, today's topic is strings in Python. Strings are used to store text data in Python. Let me show you example. So let's say you want to store ice cream. And to do that, you create a variable called text and using double quotation mark, you type in ice cream. When you hit enter, what happened is this variable now contains this data called ice cream. As you see on the right hand side here in the picture, the way Python stores ice cream is it's a sequence of characters. So text starts at specific memory address and then after it's a sequence of characters stored in different memory addresses. Now using an index, you can access individual characters. So for example, if I want to access first character i in this variable, then the way I do it is using square bracket, type in text square bracket zero. If I do that, I will get i. So if I want to access now c, you will do one. So each of these individual letters are stored at specific memory locations, which can be accessed using these indexes. Okay. If now you want to, let's say, change the content of particular character, you would think, what if I do this? Hmm. It gives the error. So this means strings are immutable. Once you create them, you cannot change it. You can place another string into this variable, but you cannot partially change it using the index character. So just remember that strings are immutable in Python programming languages. Other programming languages such as C++, Java, they will allow you to do it, but not Python. Now, what if I want to access a substring within this main string? So let's say I want to print ice. The way you do it is using the index subrange. So i starts at zero index and e ends at two. But the way subindex works is that you have to give index after it. So e ends at two, so give three. And when you do it, you will get i's here. So always remember the first index is included, whereas the second one is excluded. So whatever is the second index minus one, that's the index up to which it will go and print your substring. Similarly, if you want to print cream, what you'll do is you will first figure out the index of it. So it will be zero, one, two, three, four. And then you will go all the way until the end. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're giving one more here. But what if you don't want to supply this index and you just want to say, okay, start for from four and go until the end. In that case, you can just omit that index. So just don't specify the index and it will assume that you want to go all the way towards the end. Similarly, if you omit the index, the starting index, then it, it will start from zero. So if I do this, Again, I got ice. So if you don't specify anything, it will assume it's zero. Okay. You can use double quotes and single quotes to store the text data. So for example, uh, I can say hello like this. So this is uh, defining a string using double quotes, or I can use single quote for doing the same thing. They both are same thing. There's just no difference. This could be useful, especially if you have single or double quote as part of your string itself. For example, if I have a string called let's learn Python. So let's, I will say let's learn Python. If I do something like this, where I used single quotation to as a as a boundary of my string and I have a quote within my string itself. 
If I do it, it will give an error. Why? Because it is thinking that this is the end of the string. Whereas my intention is to make this whole thing one single string. So in situation like this, I would always use double quotes outside and then internally you can use as many single quotes as you want and it won't give you any problem. Similarly, if you have double quote inside your string, use single quote outside. So let's say my hello world, world has double quotes, then I will use single quote outside and it just works. So if you print text, it will print it fine. All right, what if now I have multi-line string? Let's say I want to store my address, which, which comprises of multiple lines and my address is let's say one purple street, New York, and I want to go to the next line. So as, as soon as I hit enter, I will get this error. So in this situation, use triple quotes. So triple quotes, one purple street, New York is the name of my city, USA. And when it ends, and end it with triple quote. So now when I print this address, you will see that it stored it fine without any issues, right? Now the internally, the way it stores it is it will use a special character. So as you, if you look at internal representation of the string, it is using slash n. So slash n means new line, okay? Now the next thing about string is you can use plus sign to concatenate two strings. So if you have a string called hello, and another string called world and if you want to join them you just do s1 plus s2 right now here i want little space in between so you can add space like this so add a space and all right so plus will just join the two strings what if i want to join number with a string so let's say I want to say total states in USA is, oops, I made a mistake. So total states in USA. So this is my string and my number is 25 so I have another variable called num where I'm storing total number of states and I want to join these two if I do s plus num it will give me this error because Python doesn't know how to join string with an integer so what you need to do first is convert this number into a string because Python can join two strings so somehow converts this convert this number to a string and then join okay so there is a function called str very important you will use this a lot in python if you do this it will convert 25 which was a number to a string how do i know this is a string you because you see this quotation mark here so now when i do s plus str num it will print total states in USA is 25. Okay, so that's it. That was all about strings in Python. Thanks for watching.